Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Bookish. Bex here today to share my TBR for the Magical Readathon. If you are not aware, the Magical Readathon is hosted by G over at Book Roast, link below. And this is a brand new readathon in the sense that although it existed as the Magical Readathon in the past, it was Harry Potter themed and it focused around doing your owls and newts. G, however, has completely rebooted it. She's created an entire fantasy world with its own history and lore, creatures, magic, etc. And she is turning that into the new Magical Readathon. And I thought that was just fantastic. Like the amount of work that she put into this is astounding. So if you're interested, that video that I linked below is her intro video where she's explaining this whole new world. She's got all these different PDFs that you can go through, so much information. The amount of work that she puts into her readathons is fantastic. So I was really looking to do a readathon in September and was very happy to see when this video was posted So I have decided to participate because this is the novice path and our characters are only just arriving to the actual Academy I decided to stick with five books I'm reading the two that are required for the path part of the experience I think there was originally seven I chose the minimum two only because I'm going to be reading all three books for the character creation portion of this at the same time I just I wanted to bunch it all together into one. I felt like that would be best for me. And five books is a bit more than I read in a month, but it's not too much that it's not impossible. The first prompt that I'm going to complete is the Ashthorn Tree, which is a book that keeps tempting you or a book that's been on top of your TBR. For this, I decided to pick up The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna because this is a book that I really wanted to read in 2021. It's a bit bigger, but because I'm in such a mood to read it, I feel like that won't be a problem. Very popular book about sisters takes place during World War II. There's definitely been a trend with these readathon prompts of me picking books I'm really in the mood to read because I figured it would kind of help me a bit. I've been feeling a bit slumpy. I'm not quite there yet so I figured I was hoping that this readathon would really help motivate me by helping me pick books that I felt like I was in the mood to read. The second of the two path related prompts that I'm going to do is The Mist of Solitude which is read a standalone book. I don't don't have many series on my shelves that I haven't read at this point so reading a standalone is very easy and I decided to pick a nonfiction book this time The Line Becomes a River Dispatches from the Border by Francisco Cantu this is another book that was on my list of books I really wanted to read in 2021 it's about Francisco who worked as a border patrol agent on the US Mexican border and sort of what life is like living around there it's a memoir and therefore it is a standalone. I thought the path part of this was pretty easy because you only needed to pick two of seven. However, the character creation part was a lot harder for me because I was trying to create a character that I wanted to you know, represent me in this readathon, but I also was trying to match with books that I was really in the mood for. So this part was very challenging. I had a bunch of books written down and I was just kind of trying to match and move things and see what fit best where. So the first category that you have to complete the prompt for is your character background. And I really wanted my character to be a wildling. And to get that, you have to read a book that's largely set in a forest or outside. So for that, I decided to read The Children's Blizzard by David Laskin. This is another nonfiction book. And it's about a cold front that came across the US prairies in the late 1800s and it killed a bunch of people. It says it's an account of the 1888 blizzard and it reads like a thriller apparently, which is, sounds really cool to me, but because it's about a blizzard in the prairies, I feel like a lot of this is going to take place outside or at least be focusing on things that take place outside. So I felt like this was a really good fit for this particular prompt. For the province part of my character creation, I decided to go with Carador, which was read a book from an ongoing series. And for that, I will be reading The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman. This is the second book in the Dark Materials series. I read The Golden Compass a while ago. I actually read it Christmas of 2019. So it's been over a year and a half since I read the first book and I figured it was probably time to pick up the next one. To be fair, I have read this series before but I read it a long time ago when I was like 9 or 10 so I don't really remember much from it and because this is a book from an ongoing series I kind of took that at least for me to mean that it needs to be a series that you're already in the middle of not a series that you're looking to start 
or that is currently being published, which I guess you could interpret it that way too. But I feel like this series is super well known, so I don't have to get into a deep description of it. Fantasy, adventure, hopefully a good time. The final piece was the heritage piece, which is the type of creature that your character is. I found this one to be the hardest one because I was trying to find one that sort of fit with the province that my character was from and maybe also their background. So this one was definitely the hardest one for me because there was a few different characters that I was willing to be. I was interested in a human, an elf, or an earthling. And in the end, I actually decided to go with an earthling, which is read a book with elemental magic or an element word in the book series or title. And for that, I decided to pick Campfire Stories, edited by Dave Q and Alyssa Q. This is Tales from America's National Parks, and it focuses on a few of the most popular uh, parks in America and kind of has fiction and nonfiction stories surrounding that poetry, stories from Native Americans who lived in the area, who still live in the area. And so because this has fire in the title, that makes my character a fire earthling. And I'm always, I've always been someone that's really liked the idea of the elements and elemental magic. And so for that reason, I felt like this was a really good fit. I also like fire. I'm an Aries, so technically my uh, associated element is fire. And I, yeah, it just, it fits. And so therefore my character is an earthling, a fire earthling specifically, who lives in Carador, or comes from Carador, and they grew up in sort of the wild, kind of outside, not in a town or a city at all. So yeah, that's my character. Don't have a name for them or anything, but I'm just having fun with it. Figured it would be a really good way to get a bit creative and also bring in some books that I really need to read and just motivate me to read them. If you're going to be participating in the Magical Readathon Aurelium, let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to know if what your plans are. Are you just going to do the path prompts? Are you creating your character? What do you want your character to be? I mean, I guess technically you have to finish the books before like your character is your character, but we have until April 2022 to do that. So it's like, even if you don't finish the books now, you could always read it, read something else later, or, you know, finish the book at another time, and it would still technically count. So that's, that's kind of cool that this is sort of like the relaxed novice path before we get more serious when our characters actually arrive at the Academy. But anyway, let me know what's going on with you and this magical readathon. As always, all of our links are in the down bar. You can go check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you later.